guys, I finally made it back to custom colours after I think three months since the last video update. Look at the car, man. It's black. I've never seen anything like this. I, you know, this has gone like past my wildest dreams and imagination of how the car's coming along now. Um, super good news. We have some wheels from Rotiform. Of course, we had to go Rotiform. I mean, follow me. Rotiform have basically created some period wheels with a modern twist. Uh, we've gone for a bronze centre. This is a LHR uh, full centre lock wheel, and we've gone for 17s on the front and up the rear. A massive 19-inch wheel. What's how wide are these called? I think they're 12. 12s on the rear, which are just nuts. So Rotiform have really come through. I don't think there's any other wheel brand we wanted involved in this project. We wanted Rotiform since day one and they've certainly delivered. We're super, super happy with uh, what they've come up with. Um, and against the black, it just looks insane. Hello, Cole. You're all yeah. right? I'm good. Uh, the cars come on loads, man. You must be getting pretty excited now. Yeah, it's quite surreal. I mean, me and Henry just put the front on and decks, and it's the first time I've actually seen it looking like a car. With kidneys and yeah, stuff yeah, totally. like that. I say, it's sort of, we've been working hard at it, and we haven't really spent a long time on it, and it's pretty mad to see what we've actually achieved. You've achieved a hell of a lot, man. Like, considering you've yeah. sort of basically built this car from scratch, you've had to learn so many yeah, skills so building this, right? I mean, I've lost count of amount of cars we've built, but normally it's just paint, air, or hydraulics, and interior. But yeah, this is complete everything from scratch. And just drawing, uh, drawing pictures on bits of paper and going for it. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's worked. I've noticed the engine's changed quite a bit, the block itself. It uh, looks like you've deleted the original like BMW rocker covers that would be there, or you've painted over them or something. Yeah, um, obviously we want it to be known as a BMW engine, but they do look crap. Yeah. It's not a nice looking motor. So we just wanted to try and sort of make it look as nice as we could, so smooth out the rocker covers, hide as much as we can. Chris has spent ages going through everything, getting rid of everything we don't need. Because we've got the Digi Dash, we're running all our own sensors. So we have actually got the bearded ones in place still, and we have got an OB port on it, so we can actually put a diagnostic onto it. Amazing. So it might actually tell us what's wrong with it, if there's yeah. a problem. And uh, yeah, obviously change all the fuel rails, etc. like Chris said earlier. And you've got all this stuff going on here, all the fuel yeah, rails here. Yeah, catch tank, fuel catch pressure. tank at the back there. Yeah, new really cool. make some pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Very cool. And inside, should we go around the other side? We'll come yes. in here. So this is looking proper race car now as well. Obviously the steering wheel being through in other episodes, that's been retrimmed. Yeah. And that is one of like the original style ones original that would come in the group steering. five. Shifters in from CAE, thanks to Hack Engineering for that, it's finally in the car. And you've gone for a, what, an OBP handbrake? Yeah, handbrake, same as a pedal box. Um, we were going to run a stock one, and I kept umming and ahhing about hydro handbrake. Oh, yeah. And in the rear, I see there's a new flow tank from Airlift. Yeah, flow That's tank looking really gas. cool. <clears throat> car audio hooked us up with a... Yeah, car audio security have sorted us out with that and gone to some nice hard lines. Yeah, still got to finish off, paint hard lines, fit the management. We're going to paint all the hard lines, just add a bit more colour to the interior. But yeah, basically the air from airlift is all plumbed in bar the management now. Right. And then we're, um, hopefully maybe next week we might fire up the air and check it all works. Yeah, get the engine started, finally. Yeah, yeah, Neil's got a little bit more wiring to do. We basically um, works for an airplane company, so we've got airplane plugs to go from mm. engine to bulkhead into car so he's cut every single wire i think there was 22 wires so wow. he's cut them put them wow. in the plug so yeah he's getting there with that and then we just got to finish off the interior but the, the interior wiring is pretty much done now it's just hooking up to the i'm, I'm glad you kept the dash because i think that sort of it, it it just telltales it just i don't know it just makes it seem like it's a bm at the end of I the day say, yeah it? they are very um known for their styles of dashboard aren't they yeah we still need to trim it to get it fit in there better yeah, we've course. changed how the steering column's held in so we need to cut a bit more dash out 
the dash will be literally just be blank where the brake bar is fitted in there we might have a few warning lights yeah and then there'll be the control panel down the bottom for lights and stuff ignition nice fuel pumps they're all mounted now so we just got to finish off putting the fuel lines in that should be all done this week cool shall we um should we show everyone underneath <laughs> I mean, I wasn't expecting this. This is, this is insane. Look how clean that is. Everything's been painted. And ceramic coated. And oh. ceramic coated. Very cool. I can see where you painted the whole block, basically. In yeah, gloss black. ending gearbox is all took apart. Chris took every ancillary, so it was basically down to bare block. And then we um, wow. cleaned it all back, painted it. Just helps keep it clean when we're here. Actually, do drive on the roads. We can clean it off easily. Look, everything is just it's so bad. clean. It's a brand. It's basically a brand new race car. That's, that's good. Every appears. single arm, bush, everything's brand new. Yeah, we got all that from uh, Powerflex Power as well. Flex, yeah, that came last year, so that's all fitted up now. And yeah, look at the rear as well. Wow. So I really like how you just made everything as tidy as possible. Every little wire, cable, everything's done really, really cleanly. Look at all the uh, lines there. The nice thing will be when you do have to work on the car, you know where everything is. It's yeah, all accessible. It's, it's all easy, straightforward. Yeah. It's very simple, really. There's no major one at the back. It's only the engine loom. Yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. And these two rad... Will there be a rad either side? There is, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, as there's such big vents, we had to put some in there. <laughs> we need to finish matting and put some braces on it. Look at those wheels. Look how they fill. So, as you were saying, we could pro possibly even add a 20 mil spacer because... It, that's a 12 and it's still got quite a bit of room in there. Pretty nice. But yeah, we've got to come up with tyres next, right? Yes, we're uh, going to speak to a Nankang. In talks with Nankang, fingers crossed. And um, obviously, we could have gone a lot bigger with the wheels. Obviously, at the moment, they are sat badly in camber, but everything's fully adjustable. So, by the time it comes up, we should be pretty level with the arch, but yeah. we are going to be limited to what tyres we can get. Like what, what sort of tyre are you thinking? Like a semi-slick? Yeah, it's got to be sort of a, a track-inspired tyre, so, nice and square on so the So probably an AR1 from yeah, Nankang, that's definitely. what we're looking at. No, uh, no stretch needed here. No, exactly. We want to fill the arch as much yeah, as possible yeah, and make it look it. race car. Got to look big. Yeah, man. So cool. Wow. All right, let's get her down. Cool. So the car's come a huge way since I was last here. Yeah. Uh, what was going on next? I mean, the car's mostly blacked out now. Yeah. Livery? Um, went black because it's just an easy base to put anything over. Um, we've been looking at loads of different liveries. I had one in my head, which I saw on Rosso Corsa, I think it was the game. I said, of course, sorry, and I really liked it, but it's just, I don't know, now we've looked at it and looked at it, it's like, now it looks crap. We've been looking at the car for so long. Yeah, yeah. Um, everyone, there is a few reps out there, obviously, and like we said in the first place, we're not making it as a rep, it's our own inspired. So people, people will look at it and say, oh, that's not original, but it's not original. It's and it's how, black. Most it's of the... We want it, yeah. Most, most people do white, white, right? With the M Sport colours. Yeah. We were going to do black interior. The original car has black, but we've gone white because it's bright. The blue cage sets it off. Look blue, the red for the toe and I will yeah. use the actual round codes for the M colours. Yeah. And so the outside, we've um, entrusted some friends of ours, the Syrup Room, Josh and Jamie. Um, we've been throwing ideas to and from each other for, God, a couple of months now. 
it's a difficult thing to yeah, come up yeah, with a, yeah. with a nice the, delivery. The boys are really busy running their own company and cooking vegetables. So they're uh, taking <laughs> taking their time to do stuff for us, which is really good of them. And we've got a, a really cracking design now. So next plan is they want to photograph it, scale it up, and then um, I suppose I'd better get jiggy with some paint. Yeah, and, uh, I, I can't wait. So it's uh, I, I, from what you've shown me, it's going to be a sort of retro inspired. Yeah, it's, retro. it's, it's not even it's not ripping anyone off at all. It's no, a complete it's not new a, design. A copy of anything at all. It's, it's, I mean, it's such an odd shape. It's hard to do something. I mean, I've done low riders in the past. You follow the lines of the car. I've done mm. sort of Larry Watson style stuff. Yeah. And, yeah, stuff like that's easy, but with something that's so weird, it's hard to do something different, unique. I can't wait. Anyway, thanks for giving us the update, and uh, we'll be back when you've got some tyres, maybe. Cool. Cool, dude. See you later. Later.